hello. So anyway, after the uh, after last night, after the fight in the pub, we went on to the next pub. And my uncle had been telling me that he was going out with a chubby woman, a big woman. And uh, he was going out with her. And so, because my auntie was very, very slim when she passed away. And this was his new girlfriend. And so we get, so we get up there and I go into the pub. And he's gone to the bar, my uncle. And I sit down at the table where they're all sat. And I sit just one seat away from an attractive woman. She was a big woman. And, uh, she, and I said, well, this surely can't be her. She's very nice looking, this woman. And my uncle, because he's getting on, and this woman was very, very smart. And I said, this can't be her. Because cause, oh, like, cause he said she was big. But anyway, so after they sat down, and it, what, it wasn't this woman. It wasn't her, I was wrong. Anyway, so after about an hour or so, uh, this, someone turns around to me, and, she said, and this woman says she knows me. I said, what do you mean? This is my, she goes, my name's Vicky. Uh, I said, I, I couldn't believe it. I said, you're joking. And it turned out that Vicky, I went out with Vicky when she was 17 and I was 23. And it was a short-lived relationship. And she was, Vicky, she looked like a working-class Princess Diana. Very, very young, sweet, blonde-haired, very tall, very, very lovely girl. And so we, uh, uh, but, so I, I wasn't even sure I was going to go there that night and, I, and my uncle had already been seated so the chances of me bumping into her after 30 years uh, yeah after 30 years and I was sat right at the side of her and so which was a good omen for me which we explained later on in the year hopefully is that uh, her dad was a like a country and western singer and he used to uh, in, so he's not very big in, or it wasn't then, it wasn't very big in uh, my area, but he used to go around the clubs doing all these country and western songs. And so, because I do a few country and western songs as well, so Dennis, her dad, was always on my mind uh, when I was doing my songs. And I, thought, and I just thought that he would, have, he would have liked, or I would have liked to chat to him about my songs and about his songs. Anyway, so Dennis is still alive, he's 69. And if I get a chance, I might go and uh, see him next week sometime. So uh, anyway, if you're watching this, Dennis, I'm glad to hear you're still alive. And if you're watching this, Vicky, it was very nice uh, seeing you. The, the, uh, a massive surprise, like a really big coincidence. And bye-bye. Uh,